It doesn't matter the motorized equipment you're considering. Horsepower and efficiency determine the production capabilities of each machine. It's easy to see the difference between the linear and lateral methods of runway rubber removal as demonstrated by this lawnmower comparison. On one side, we have a small engine turning a 21-inch blade and moving side to side in an 8-foot wide pattern. On the other side, we have a much larger engine turning two 24-inch wide blades producing a 4-foot wide pass and traveling the entire distance of the field before turning around and making another pass. Would anyone like to argue that the smaller unit is better because it takes an 8-foot wide pass? Of course not. The blade actually produces a very narrow 21-inch cut versus the 48 inches of the larger mower. The lateral movement also produces an enormous amount of overlap, and its horsepower limits its ability to spin larger blades. Our linear method doubles the horsepower, which allows us to produce twice the volume of water per minute, which in turn allows us to cut a much larger path and move faster down the runway. The lateral method moves only six to eight feet before turning around and making an overlap while our linear method moves 2,000 feet before any overlap is created. Now, let's look at the difference in removing paint markings. Our removal heads can change from six feet wide to six inches wide in a matter of minutes. In the lateral method, the size of the heads cannot be changed, only the distance in side-to-side -side movement. The inability to adjust produces enormous inefficiencies negative surface impact, and a very low production rate. It's easy to see the significant differences in power and efficiency between linear and lateral methods of rubber removal. That's why our linear method can produce removal rates of over 4,000 square meters per hour, while our lateral competitor rates are just much lower. This is why we are the world leader in airport and roadway marking removal. This is why Hog Technologies outsells its top five competitors combined, and 93% of airports that own a water blaster own a stripe hog.